think I want one two inches in from either end, so probably two here, two inches here, I think. And then now up here, I think I'm going to come in two inches here as well. You know what? Inch and a half. Inch and a half. selection of drill bits here to see what's going to be the best. I'll get some oil here. Alright. how this fits. Watch, I probably measured wrong. Watch, it's probably six and an eighth, not five and an eight. Or five and five eighths. I think it's five and five eighths. No, I think you're, I think you did it right, babe. I think it was the right size. Hey, hey, you know. It definitely Murphy's wasn't over six. I know that because. You know Murphy's Law, right? Yeah, see, that's going to slide in there just nicely. Yep. Boom. Now to go up, drill holes here. Drill holes here will get bolted into the beam. Yeah, like I could have went in further with this, but I mean, that's going to be in pretty far anyway, by the time it's done. <clears throat> Let's get a drink of water, Heather, and let this cool down. Let the drill cool down as well. Okay, sounds good.
realized I built this lift just to paint stuff on. It is still pretty warm. Man, it's bloody warm. I don't really want to call you a fibber <laughs> about that, <laughs> but you might be fibbing a little bit. Or I might not be. Maybe I did build it just to paint stuff on. Just to paint all the odd piece of things that you need painted? Yeah. Maybe. I highly doubt that. You know, I wasn't going to use oil on this just because I was pretty sure I'd want to paint this. Thank goodness your dad got me this can of brake cleaner though, because this is going to work great for removing the oil off this. That's good. Let it dry and I'll see if there's any dark spots. Any dark spots equals oil. And you just chase it off there. Great for painting stuff on, I'll tell you. Well, I'm guessing so I haven't really tried it yet. That brake cleaner smells oddly good. <laughs> it does. <laughs> kind of. Well, you know how gasoline sometimes smells good? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> it does. Gas smells good. Like, well, not like gasoline. It used to have a better smell than it does now. I know what you mean. Yeah. No, it did. It used to have a good smell. If anybody asks, we took the time and we used a good piece of stainless steel on this so it wouldn't rust out. Yeah. 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 Not at all. I think before this thing rots out, we'll both be long gone. Yep. I agree. Whether it's painted or not. Yeah, true. Anyways, let's chrome it. Mm -hmm. Nobody will ever see it until they tear it apart anyways, until they take the building apart. Yeah. But it'll be in there. Mm-hmm. Should have welded the date into it, but it don't matter. It's so bloody warm out here, it's drying almost right away. <laughs> yeah, it's like warm. Man. In the nozzle I push that until there's no more paint comes out. Then you know the nozzle's clean. If they ever have to use it next time, we'll flip. So that has to dry. So I give that about a minute and a half in this sun and this heat, and it should be dried off. Wow. So while that's drying, I think we should put up maybe. Um, a few four inch screws in there and start taking that off. Sounds good. Take it apart. Is this a good one? Do you remember? If not, I have one on charge inside. Sounds strong. The power's strong in this one. I think the force is with it. Mm -hmm. All it is now is the force is carrying it over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now, there should be not much weight on this beam because there's nothing on it. 
but we're not going to stand under it once we start taking it apart. You're okay now. Oh, okay. But I mean, once once I start, once I release the hounds here, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, then we'll. Then we're not going to want to be standing under it. No, I mean, you can if you want, but it's not going to be a good thing. I shouldn't be on this side to get it. I also want to go upwards a little bit. There. This one I'll go straight in. I think I learned my lesson to not hold those screws while I'm threading them in there because it's always, always have burrs on them. And that one nailed me again. Is it okay? Is your finger okay? Ah, just a little sliver. Can you see that showing up right I there? Can. Do you want me to pick that out? No, I think I'll dig it out with this. Yeah, it's gone now. Okay. I think I learned. I don't mind working under that. get on the other side.
how they're cutting these off now. warm up there. Set it here where there's not as much dirt for that to pick up. I'll grab my grinder here. Better start that first, right? Get a little bit of here. Alrighty, how's that look? Really good. Those are stainless steel bolts too. Mm -hmm. Stainless steel threaded rod, I should say. This thing here is just wood done. Yeah. But I'll clean it anyways, just in case. That's it, folks. That's the bracket made. I think it'll work. I think it'll hold until it lets go. That's all I can say. That's a, supposed to be a six by six, but I think it's really only like a five by, five by five eighths by six inch this way. So I went back, I forget how far I went back. Probably back two inches or so. So, 
And then up here I drilled some holes and bolted it. Here, I'll show you what it looks like up here. Alrighty, so that's how it looks here. And up under here. And that's, that's how she looks here. And uh, we'll climb up here and I'll show you. It's what it looks like here. So I will, um, I'll make my floorboards fit over top those bolts so they don't affect anything. And that's how that looks up here. So you see that drew that beam down pretty good. It's in place and I don't see it going anywhere. So, yeah, there we go folks.